What's good, man? It's your boy, Big Cell F H O H N I C. Check this out, man. Fast Harley's only is not just for the Fast Harley enthusiasts. It's a brand, it's a lifestyle, it's a movement. So grab you some fast and let's rise. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Where everybody at? What it do? Mojo, what it do? What it do? What it do? All right, we uh, we're gonna talk about tonight's show. We're going to talk about tonight's show on 106LiveRadio.com, the FHO radio show. Uh, last week, we started a topic with uh, about what is a biker. Um, again, so many people have so many different rules, regulations, variations as to what a biker is. Some people think it's just as simple as owning a bike. Some people think it's more complex. Some people think you got to ride the motorcycle out of town. Some people just believe you have to have a passion for motorcycling. Me, Heavy, my co-host, Head 100, and my man, Savage, the special guest, Michael Corleone, HDTMZ, we all had our own definition of what a biker is. Like I said, one of the things about that definition or that title is so broad. I mean, you can, you can, you can have four or five def- different definitions and basically all of them be right. So that that's one of the things that, um, you know, that's what even started this thing was, you know, a biker. Now... Part what we're going to try to go into tonight is a bike a biker versus MC. Some people believe that you could be a biker and not and or you can be an MC. I'm sorry and not be a biker. You feel what I'm saying? Some people believe that just because you're in a motorcycle club doesn't make you a biker. Okay, um, I'll save my opinions for tonight's show, but it it is a very interesting topic. It is a very um, just it's just some real cool conversation, and one of the things I want you guys to know about FHO Radio, FHO Radio is not the gospel. Okay, FHO Radio is the ministry by which the gospel can be preached, but it's not the gospel. I am not the ultimate end all to be all final destination rule maker. That is what I am not, but I am the person that brings the that brings the conversation um, to the forefront. What up with a nephew? What up with a Michael uh, Reynolds rolling hard? My girl Sunshine, I see you. One time, Hub City. Hey, I was, I'll was i be in, uh, got a surprise for y'all. Um, Anthony Hampton, my man, Mojo again. Um, everybody, man, everybody just on here. Thank you. Hey, what up, Dirty D? So, we will be finishing that topic tonight, man. What is a biker? What is the definition of a biker? Last week, you heard me, uh, me my co-host, Head 100, and, my, and our special guest, Savage, Michael Corleone give three different definitions of what a biker is, all basically curtailing to around the same thing. So that definition is so broad um, that, you know, again, um, some people, like I said earlier, some people believe it's just as simple as, you know, riding your motorcycle. Some people just believe it's just having a passion for motorcycling that makes you a biker. And some people believe, no, you got to be riding your motorcycle out of state, state to state to be a biker. Whatever it may be, you know what I'm saying? We're going to try to figure it out. But the twist to it or the part two of it is tonight is that we will be talking about, um, we will be going into the part of um, some people saying that um, just because you're in an MC doesn't automatically make you a biker, okay? Um, That you can be a you can be an MC and not be a biker okay so that's going to be the part that we go into it um you know um and get into it right there what up Christopher I hear you cuz we all need it man K Solo what up with it I need to get you on the show too K Solo um Regina what up with it my girl Regina all the way from Houston Texas so again man tonight make sure you tune in make sure you tell a friend 9 30 p.m eastern if you're in California, that's 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. If you're in Texas, that's 8.30 to 10 p.m. Remember, this show is made for all of us. It, yes, it's my it, it's the FHO radio show. But when I, when I came up with the FHO radio show, I, I put the concept in mind of us being able to have something that we all could just join together in and work these things out, these rules, the poli- all the political stuff that we got going on on the bike set now. This is a way for us to come together. 
talk about it, you know, get rid of the elephants in the room, talk about it, and learn it, and learn it to, to from different regions, because every it varies from coast to coast. From the West Coast, biking is different. From the Midwest, biking is different. To down south, to up north, it's all different. We, we all got the same love and the same passion, and we all going in the same direction, but we're going to get there in so many different ways. Levita, what up with it? Ranger, what it do? And all, please share and invite people. Solo, what up with it? Um, Zelly, what up with it? So that's uh, what you say, Solo. Oh man, oh no problem. Good morning to you too. So that's one of the things about FHO. Like I said, I am not, I am not the Messiah. I am not the you know the end all to be all. I am the gospel. I am what's used to to bring it forth, and that's just how I feel. You know, it ain't it ain't no big thing. Um, even though I am Mr. FHO. We are all FHO. I keep telling you guys, FHO is a mindset. Run your motor, not your mouth. Don't just talk about, you know, stop talking about being about something and get up and be about it. So that's what the that's what the FHO logo, the motto stands for, run your motor, not your mouth. Um, so, <laughs> but... Hey man, that's my she. But that's her job. Is that's in my that's in my vows too. Since you want to put it like that, Mister Roller Hot, it's in my vows and our wedding vows. She had to repeat that she will keep me on a Harley all the days of my life. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, go back and, and imagine that. And the word obey was in there too, pimp. You know what I'm talking about? I don't play no games around here. I've had Harley since I was 26, and I'm now 57. So 30 years in the game. Am I a biker? Don't know, but nobody loves HD more. See you July 15th. Check this out. Tiny, I'm, I'm with you, but truly, I am a for real HD fan. You cool. You cool with the HD. You know what I'm saying? You cool with it. But ain't nobody more of an HD fan than me. It's Harley Davidson or nothing for me. I don't. You can't ride with me if you ain't got a Harley Davidson. You can't. And we, we can talk. We can chat. We can even be partners and pals. And then cool friends, you know what I'm saying? Because that friend title is, we're going we gonna to do a subject on that too. Everybody's giving everybody a friend title and everybody don't deserve a friend title. Some of your people that you call their friends need to just be your partners and your pals. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of the people that you're calling your friends uh, need to just be your partners and the pals. What was, is this, is the showstopper? I don't, I don't know what you mean by that, Michael. But what is the showstopper? So we, we, I'm going to do a subject on that, too, how we're categorizing everybody as brothers and sisters and friends when you need to start just giving people titles of partners and pals. Then that way you can't be as disappointed as you are when they disappoint you because they're going to disappoint you. It's the human nature. We ain't all going to be perfect. We ain't all going to be we ain't all going to be right. Uh, but it is what it is. So tonight we're going we gonna to get into that part of uh, we're going to get into that part of uh, finalize or come up with at least an understanding or, or agree to disagree on what is a biker. And then going to part two is, um, do can you can you not be a biker and be in a motorcycle club? Or by being in a motorcycle club, are you automatically a biker? So it's, 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 it's up in there, man. It's going to be very controversial. I believe Michael Corleone, a lot of people was egging him on to, to, to really cut loose. And understand this. One thing about me, and I want you all to know, the one thing about FHO, especially me, I don't care what you say. We got to be careful, cautious about what we curse. But you can't offend me. You, you you can't even you you can't even offend me at all because you don't know me you know you don't know my struggle, um, um, and I'm gonna try to take I'm gonna do my I gotta do my little motivational stuff and get right into it. Um, I gotta get I, you know it's a show so I gotta do the commercials. Everybody be want me to do more. I don't have an hour and a half so it goes by fast. Um, and Merlin from oh what up with it man from Yuma I see you in a minute Mer, uh, Michael, um, and I and I promise you tick we'll try to get right into it. Um, See, so, but again, um, Egg and Michael Corleone to do it. I I want him to be him. I want Savage to be Savage. I want Heavy to be Heavy, and I'm gonna be me. If I'm laid back and cool, it is what it is. If whatever it is, so that's one thing about me, man. I want I want all of us to be as honest as possible, and that was the whole version and the whole reason for this platform. That's why I took to the radio to try to meet, to try to reach and teach more people. A lot of people like the video, and I understand that, um, but the radio gives me international um, reach. It's just like my YouTube. I mean, my YouTube and my Facebook does too, but it's just a different platform. So we will, we will work on, we will, you know, work on getting better with that um, tonight. 
Um, don't forget, for all, if you're on the FHO page, then you get a special treat as well. Um, some of it is a hobby and some of it is a lifestyle. Like I said, we, we, we tried our best to get into that last week. Um, for some it is, and for some, you know, some people live it. But like I said, one of the things I did say that nobody could dispute is I want you to, and I don't want you to do this, but <laughs> I want you to be to tell an OMC, any member, any person that you know of that's an OMC, that he's not a biker. Okay. That's something to think about. If you can tell any member in the OMC that he's not a biker and he agrees with you, then maybe because we all we all look at the OMCs, is which which are the the outlaw motorcycle clubs, the the one percenters. That don't mean that they're bad people. So when you say outlaw, you know people automatically oh that's negative. Anyway, that's just their title, OMC. That's what OMC stands for for y'all that don't know. Outlaw motorcycle clubs, um, um, and one percenter. The one percenter stands for. Uh, it comes from an article from back in the day, um, and you know people got different versions of that. But the best version that makes the most sense to me is it was a situation that happened amongst a group of motorcycle cats, and they were trying to downplay and defuse the situation. And the article was wrote to say, "Hey, that was only one percent of the people that was there. We had a good time. No worries. Come back next year. This is a safe place to be. One turn one percenter. That's a little history of knowledge for you. You can look it up. Um, try to research it." Or, or come up with, you know, whatever it is. But that's just one of the definitions. For me, that's the one that means the most. Because when you say, a lot of people say that they only live off of 1% of, or they only do 1% of the law. Well, I'm not going to touch that because of that part right there, um, it, it, you know, it's, it's very tricky. For whatever reason, it is what it is. But that's that's the term 1%er. Brian says it's not going to happen. Regina says some people just have motorcycles and some people ride motorcycles. For sure, you got one of my my, my homeboy Dirk, um, Chopper Dirk from uh, L.A. Choppers. It says two kind of people. You got niggas with motorcycle and motorcycle niggas. And I hate to use the word niggas, but you got people <laughs> people with motorcycles and motorcycle people. But anyway, that you get well, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, there's, there are two different variations. Some are pretending to be one percenter and don't ride that much. Hey, again, that's just whatever that lifestyle is. I don't know it. I'm not into it. I know I, I have a few people, uh, close friends that are in it, and we chop it up from time to time. Um, so it is what it is. Um, it is our life, Brian Person. We need to call it. We need to call in tonight. It's our life. Oh, okay. Well, make sure you guys call in, man. Um, make sure you share this post. Make sure you tell everybody tonight it's going to be going down. I, I say everybody is liking the momentum of um, what we got going on. Me, Head 100, and we got Savage, uh, Michael Corleone, HDTMZ. We brought him in there for tonight's um, topic. So, it, I mean, the station is getting there. We, I want to thank everybody that do tune in and listen. Um, everybody that has downloaded the app, please download the app. Also, um, download my Facebook uh, I mean, my, I'm sorry, my YouTube uh, channel. Make sure you subscribe to FHO Atlanta GA. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you subscribe. We need to get some subscription numbers up um, and the whole nine yards. But I think tonight's topic is going to be very interesting because when you, when you talk about um, being in a motorcycle club, you know, should you already have some type of element of being a biker before you even join a motorcycle club? And whatever element that is, or you might already think you are a biker. And everybody has this big thing, well, it's my bike, um, um, it's my bike, and you can't tell me what to do, you ain't making that payment. And again, let me tell y'all something, for all these people that holler, I'm grown, can't nobody tell me what to do, it's my bike, I pay the note, you don't pay the note, that's fine, that's fine. But when you join the, the MC, you give up the I and my bike for us and our bike, because your bike now belongs to the MC. Because now your brothers need your bike on the road with them or side by side with them. So it ain't just your bike anymore. Now the bike belongs to the MC. So it's a difference. You can you can be selfish and independent. You feel what I'm saying? With your shit. With your shit, you can be as selfish and independent as you want to be. Because that's your shit. You feel what I'm saying? But when you join the MC, that is no longer just your shit. That's the MC shit. And I don't mean they commandeer from you taking it. You got to sign over the title. So please hear what I'm saying. Uh, Regina, the app is 106 Live. 
If you're on any phone, any kind of any kind of cell phone, any kind of tablet, it's 106 Live. It's a black background with red writing. If you're on a computer at a at a computer, actual computer, laptop or desktop, it's 106 Live. Rate. I'm sorry, 106 Live Radio, Regina. I'm sorry, 106 Live Radio on any cell phone, tablet, or, or you know, tablet, whatever device. 106 Live Radio, black background with red writing. If you're on a computer, it's 106 Live Radio.com. That'll get you there. Um, but what I'm saying is this is that, you know, a lot of people come into the MC with the independent mentality. With the, with the you know, you, you first off, <laughs> It's only two reasons. It's only one reason why you join a motorcycle club. And we got into this before, and I'm, I'm, I know I'm getting all off track, but I'm going to say this: Don't join a motorcycle club if you like to ride. You're wasting your time, and you're wasting the club's time. You feel what I'm saying? Don't join a club. Don't join a motorcycle club if you like to ride. Join a motorcycle club because you love to ride. Remember when you was growing up, your mom always told you it was different. Oh, you don't love that girl. You just like that girl. Oh, you don't love that bike, you just like that bike. Or whatever it was when we was growing up. And my mom always used to tell me that, boy, you don't love shit. You don't, you don't love no. You don't even know what love is. Okay? Well, if you don't know what love is of the motorcycle, the, the bike, the, the motorcycle set, then you have no business joining the set. Because the only thing that's going to keep you on the set and the only thing that's going to make you relevant on the set and the only thing that's going to make the set worthwhile is those that love the set. Because we're the ones that's going to take the abuse. We're the ones that's going to take the negative criticism, the positive criticism. And we're the ones that's going to come back time and time again. Because a lot of y'all think that being in a motorcycle club is glamorized. You feel what I'm saying? Um, oh, that was an old video, uh, my, uh, Mark. That was an old video. I just, I just bring them back from time to time. But a lot of people, um, a lot of people believe that being in a motorcycle club is the coolest shit in the world. Let me tell you something. <laughs> being in a motorcycle club um, is not always about on some cool shit. Okay, people join it for all type of reasons: brotherhood. I just want to be around some cats that I know. They ride. I want to ride with them the whole nine yards. But being in a motorcycle club is a lot of hard. It's a lot of extra unnecessary. Hard work. When I mean by extra necessary hard work is because now you got to mix and mingle with a, if you know a big club or a small club. Now you got to mix and mingle and share your time, your effort, and your energy with a bunch of cats that you really don't know. You are gonna know a few or whoever. If you got a buddy in there, you are gonna know him, but you ain't gonna know everybody else. But now you got to share this and that time. The second thing of it is now you got to pay. You're paying a motorcycle club to be in a motorcycle club you're paying dues to that club so that it can function but basically you can look at it as though you're paying dues to ride your motorcycle you're paying somebody else or the club to ride your motorcycle and then third when it's not all fun all the time when it's work that has to be done i in the clubhouse at an event at a function or even just working to keep your bike in order so that you can be an effective member so that you can make the ride because see it's it's, it's one thing it's one thing to just be able to to ride your motorcycle. But you know, the more you ride, the more it costs to ride. My man Tick say, if you join an MC, you should be doing everything you can to meet the demands of the club. Most MCs expect you to participate and ride your motorcycle, period. That's not who you are. Remain an independent. I totally agree. That's more on that. Hold on. Remain an independent rider. Tick, you already know you. I love you for that, man. You can now pin this tap to comment to see the options to pin it. Okay. Um, my man Tick always preaching. Um, for sure. See you soon. Blah, 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 blah. Right. So, what I'm saying is this. <laughs> I hate, thank you. <laughs> when you join the MC, you give up a lot. You give up a lot to join the MC. You keep everything when you're independent, when it's just you and your motorcycle. Oh, you! It, it's, the world is yours. You're free to do whatever. You're free to roam, come and go, do whatever, the whole nine yards. So why would you enslave yourself to the motorcycle club? Why would you damn near sign a paper to become a slave of the MC if you don't love that? A lot of, and, and I'm starting to believe now that a lot of us that are in MC, we, that we're part crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're part crazy. We damn near glad for punishment. 
Now, don't get me wrong. It's plenty of fun times. Oh my goodness, we we we. If you in a club, man, and and and, and especially you know some of the clubs that I've had a chance to function with the bigger clubs, breed kings, nuns. Um, I mean, so many, and I don't even know why I even started naming because that's gonna get me in trouble. But um, from from everywhere, we do have fun. We do. We and we try our best every chance we get to have a ball. But it ain't always fun. I'm gonna tell you something like this. It's almost like when you join an MC, you go from having that freedom to come and go as you please, to ride your motorcycle how you please. If you don't feel like changing the oil. You know, you can just let it sit up. If you don't feel like changing the back tire, you just let it, you know, ah, I change it. I ain't going to ride nowhere soon, no time soon. So you, you you got those things. But when you join MC, you give up that. Because now your bike, like like right now, okay, my bike is on point for whatever. If I want to jump on my bike right now and go to L.A., it's ready to go, period. And then I'm going to say this, for the month of April, for the month of April, man, I'm going to be gone. I'm out of here. So I'm going to be, this is what I'm trying to tell you, because I love the MC, I give up my rights and my, and my freedom to, to come and go as I please. Because you're a part of the MC, now you have to be here, mandatory this, uh, you need to participate in this, say man we need to see you here, we need you doing this community service, and, and whatever else it may be, you feel what I'm saying, um, and that's what I'm saying. So it costs money to stay ready. You know what I'm saying? If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Well, it costs to stay ready. Period. It costs to stay ready. On these expensive toys that we have, the the the, the thing, the, the most important thing about a motorcycle, being in a motorcycle club, the most the most important is the motorcycle. I don't care who you are. You feel what I'm saying? You are irrelevant. Your motorcycle is more important than you in the MC. Regina says, and why would you join something without knowing the history of what you are involved in? Again, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Once you get to the point to where you join an MC, you already should be in love with it. Hey, my man, Ricky Will, um, Team Money Cycles, SOS Series in the building. They come and they doing their thing all over the world. See you in Atlanta, July, uh, July 15th, I believe. But getting back to what I'm saying is when you join a motorcycle club, you give up your freedom. To be free. Because now you got rules and regulations. You got places you have to be at. You got things you have to do. You feel what I'm saying? Understand this. Most of you Negroes don't want to clean your own toilet. Period. Your bathroom is just horrendous. But now you got to, you've been asked to clean up the toilet or the bathroom or the club in the clubhouse. And it's 80,000 niggas that are shitting in there that you don't know nothing about. Yeah, that part. You have to have balance between your immediate family and brotherhood. And your immediate family has to understand the obligations you have to your MC. Uh, and that's my man Reggie Dion Double, one of Rare Breed's finest. I will say this. I've already said this. I've been saying this. If you join an MC and you have not spoken with your family, you have not set them down, i.e. your wife, your significant other, your grandmama who you take care of, your aunties who you normally go by and see, uh, even damn near your job. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying your job anybody that you or whatever your regular routine was if you have not set them people down and told them that you want to join an MC because this is going to change their lives as well as it's going to change your life join that's what I'm trying to tell you to, to, when you join the MC you sign a contract damn near to become a slave of the MC you sign this contract say hey man I'm going to be there when you need me all you got to do is call me uh, I'm going to keep my motorcycle running. So that means all my little extra change, I'm going to spend that on my motorcycle because it got to be on point. That means I'm buying tires, I'm buying oil, I'm buying everything. You understand what I'm saying? This is what you promise to do when you join the MC. This is all the stuff you promise to do when you join the MC. You feel what I'm saying? You you give up your freedom. So joining the MC, like I said, it has its glamour moments. But it sure got a lot of unglamour moments. Man, I'm not cleaning that poopy toilet. On, hey, I'm just telling you. Won't be the first or the last public toilet I've cleaned. There it is there, Michael Renner. When you join the MC, your family joins the MC automatically. I, I spoke on that. Some people disagree. But I'm telling you, that's the only way you can effectively and properly join the MC. So, to all you cats out there that are independent, hey, it might be best for you to stay independent. 
Wait till you fall in love with the MC, then join the MC, because that's the only way it's going to make sense. You know how some of, I'm going to use us men. You know how some of us men date these old ratchet ass females we ain't got no business messing with, but we date them anyway because we done fell in love. You feel what I'm saying? Same thing with you women. You feel what I'm saying? You done fell in love with this old nothing ass nigga and you just can't shake him. That's how it is with the MC. Don't join the MC till you sprung. Because if you ain't sprung, you're the biggest dummy in the world. Because that's how it's going to look. Why am I, why, who is this telling me where I got to be? And then going to tell me I got to pay this money. And if I don't, if I ain't there on time, then I got to find it. I got to read these rules and regulations and agree. Man, listen here, man. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This MC shit ain't for everybody. And I promise you, my goal, one of my goals before I leave this earth is to get the motorcycle community back to being private. Right now, the public has came into it, and it is all over the place. Tick, you say you're guilty of what, Tick? <laughs> Give out the show number, bro. 404-464-8785. I think somebody put it on there earlier. My girl Cheeks put it on there earlier. Uh, 404-464-8785. That's tonight at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, if you're in... What up, my man Dirty just joined on? If you're in um, Texas, that's uh, 8.30 to 10. If you're in California, that's 6.30 to 8. Um, so... Uh, but that's what it is. So a lot of y'all that's independent, stay independent because join the, to join the MC, you have to be crazy to join the MC. You got to be part mentally retarded. You got some type of retardation because who else will give up their freedom? Who else will become a slave? Huh? Oh, okay. The nothing ass ratchet. Okay. <laughs> My man, Bruce, who else will become a slave? Why would you give up your freedom to become a slave? Because that's what you become when you join the MC. When you sprung, you become baby face for the set. I'll pay your rent. <laughs> I'll pay your rent. I'm just saying, what I'm saying is I'm not even talking about the female or the male aspect of it. I'm talking about the aspect of it is that when you join the MC, you need to be sprung on being able to take orders from people that you don't know. You know what I'm saying? H having to respect people that you don't know. Um, having to do things that you wouldn't normally do, okay, having to spend money that you wouldn't normally spend, and especially when you don't have it, y you feel what I'm saying, um, you know, having to learn rules and regulations when you're a grown-ass man or a grown-ass woman, that's just, those, to me, that's damn part retardation, I mean, well, right now, I can live my life however the fuck I want to live it. My man Darwin, Silent Assassin, what's going on, man? I see you, baby. Faye, what up with it? To me, that's part retardation. Dirty say, but tune into 106 also help my homie with the ratings. We have to support each other, for sure. Uh, yeah. At least download the app. You feel what I'm saying? Timothy, what up, my man Timothy Smith? I'm telling you, so... Joining the MC, you got to be part retarded, man. So I'm gonna tell you right there, I'm, I'm, I'm so in love with the MC. I'm, I'm dumb, stupid, retarded. Period. I love this MC shit, and I get questioned every day by people that's not in the MC that's looking at me from the, you know, how people see you from the outside. And they're like, nigga, what is you doing that for? Why is you? What, is, what you mean? You got to go over here. Who, who said you got to go? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So somebody making you go somewhere. Uh, 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 basically, yeah. Paul, what up with it, man? My man, Paul Ingram. I'm excited about the six OG. That's what I'm talking about. This topic, though, bro, you have to go in tonight. We're gonna try our best. Um, again, we really gonna try our best. The, the thing about it, though, like I said, I want everybody to know this, man. I am just the vessel, the ship that everybody can get on and off of. You feel what I'm saying to get to where you want to go. Um, that that's basically what I am. Uh. I, I'm going to bring it to you. I'm, I'm going I'm to see the elephant. I'm going to bring the elephant up forward. And then we're going to talk about what this elephant is and how to get rid of it. Like I said, the set has become so politically fucked up. Um, and that's and these are the complaints of everybody. That the set has just become so politically fucked up. People don't know the difference between OMCs, one percenters, and outlaws. And, and, and it's just so much stuff, man. The MC lifestyle is inside you. Either it's in you or it ain't. Hey, like I said, it ain't for everybody. We damn sure agree with that. 
It's not for everybody. Nowhere near is it for everybody. Okay. And that's the thing that we got to, like I spoke on earlier, if you're just not tuning in, I spoke on earlier. A lot of y'all need to understand that everybody ain't your brother and everybody ain't your friend. It's all right to have pals and partners. You feel what I'm saying? Pals and partners. It's all right. I ain't got a problem with you not being my, as long as you're my pal or you're my partner, I'm straight. But we have to stop giving that friend title and that brother title to everybody. Those titles are only given by blood. You feel what I'm saying? Or a motherfucker done earned that title from you with an action. Not with no, oh, because we homies. No, he had to prove to you that he loved you. And you had to prove to him that some kind of way growing up, either we back to back, fought our way to school or fought our way from school or whatever, whatever it is, man. But these titles are earned and we got to stop. That's the subject I'm going to get into. We got to stop giving these titles to people who haven't earned them. Um, bro, we had the Black Pistons at Pseudos on Tuesdays. The other side, they were cool as a fan. And and I'm going to tell you like this. The OMC life is great. My man Darwin. Um, I'm going to tell you like this. What I've seen is anytime the numbers come into play, and I'm, and I'm trying to be careful with my words because, I, like I said, Anytime the numbers come into play, that's when the problems occur. Numbers, okay? Um, numbers causes problems. And, and, and I'm just, if you hear what I'm saying, without hear what I'm saying. But hear what I'm saying. My man Bruce says, it was a time, it was a time half these people wearing vests and starting clubs wouldn't be caught dead at an MC clubhouse or a party. I loved it when they said it was like the F I'm telling you. Reggie said it has to be in you, not just on you. We make it look easy, but being in a true brotherhood takes hard work. And that's what I've been saying. You know, I, I, I've been saying that for the longest. Uh, amen, Fred Kennedy say. Um, I've been saying that for the longest. So for all of us crazy people, for all of us semi-retarded people who, that have joined the MC. We got to stay together because we all we got. The world don't want us because we retarded. You, if you're in the MC, you're retarded. Period. If you're in a real MC, you you mentally you you got some type of mental retardation in you. <laughs> because who else would give up their freedom to be told when, where, when to do, uh, what to do, when to be there, and how to do it? In some clubs, you even told what to wear. I.e., all you got to wear all black, or we wearing all purple, or we wearing this. Nigga, how you? I'm a grown ass man. How you gonna tell me what I gotta wear? How, how to dress? I've been dressing myself for however old or many days or whatever I am. I've been doing that, man. You know what I'm saying? That's an understatement when it comes to MC to me, sir. <laughs> Again, man. Understand this. Uh, that's that's just me, man. Um, but I love y'all truly. I do. And again, make sure you tell everybody for be on point for tonight. We don't have a lot of time, an hour and a half go by like that, you know, especially when you add the commercials and all that. But I love my radio station, 106 Live Radio. I, I thank them for the opportunity, and I thank all of you guys for tuning in and taking this journey with me. Um, like I said, the month of April, I'm going to show y'all what being a biker is about. I promise you. By the time April get done, y'all going to say, that's a bad motherfucker. Hear what I'm telling you. By the time when May get here this year, if God got me still living, if I'm still living, when May get here, y'all gonna understand why I call him, why I'm separating myself from the rest of you. Yeah, the rest of you motorcycle owners. Yeah, all of y'all on here, cheeks. I'm, you know, what I'm saying I don't mean to just call your name, but all of y'all, y'all motorcycle owners, I'm gonna separate myself from Reggie, D Dirty, yeah, Tick, all y'all. I'm gonna show you why I'm the man. Come May. If I'm still living, I'm going to show y'all why I'm the man around here. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to show y'all who FHO is. I'm going to show y'all how what this motorcycle shit is all about. Come, mate. I'm going finna, I'm to, finna, finna, in the next couple of, this whole month of April, y'all going to be like, yeah, that ain't, yeah, I mean, uh, anybody know what sell that? Yeah. On his motorcycle somewhere out yonder. Yeah, that part right there. Yeah. And I'm a broke nigga and I'm going to do it. Broke as a muff. Please, matter of fact, can I start a GoFundMe? <laughs> Look at Reggie say fuck. <laughs> yeah, Reggie, I'm finna separate myself even from you, player. 
You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at Bruce saying. <laughs> Man, I love my niggas, man, for real, man. But I'm just, I'm just saying, man, April, it's going to be put some respect on the throttle month for me, man. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm like Cheek say, H &I, I'm going to show y'all why I'm the H and I C around here, man. Y'all know I look a little old, look a little rusty and dusty and all that old shit. You heavy made me get out of my car. Heavy made a statement. I was doing a video. I said, you been in the car lately? Oh, so I, yeah, I went on and got rid of that, sold the car. So I don't even have a car no more. You feel what I'm saying? But anyway... I love y'all. That's what it's about tonight, 930. Um, what is a biker and biker versus MC? Again, a lot of people say that you can be. Uh, I'm anxious to say, hey, I'll take that. A lot of people say you can be in a motorcycle club and don't have to be a biker. That a bi and, and being in a motorcycle club don't automatically make you a biker. So we're going to get into that tonight, man. We're going to talk about that shit tonight and get it in, man. Um, I got you. I heard you say ancient. I heard you. I, I, and I might be. That's what's going to make it even worse. How y'all let this old ancient, no tooth, black, ugly, broke, bald head living at his mama house ass nigga. How y'all let this nigga do all that? Yeah, that part right there. All oh, y'all with the expensive jobs and oh, life is just great and you ain't got no kids. You ain't got no worries. I'm finna bust y'all ass. Period. Play no games. It's a done deal. I'm everywhere. April, everywhere. Anyway, love y'all. That's my time. I know y'all got shit to do, because I got shit to do. Today is Thursday. My uh, journey starts tomorrow. Hog Life MC, Hog Pen, Bodacious Hog Pen, Las Vegas. I'm in the building Saturday. Um, I'm, I'm there, man. I love it. I'm there, so... Throw a blanket on the handlebars and go <laughs> go for broke. That's what I'm talking about, man. And go trust and believe that. I'm, I'm working. I just I got to pull my sleeping bag down right now. And actually, make sure I got it. I'm coming for. Hey, Anthony. Let me tell you something. You you got a job, right? See, y'all fucking with a nigga with no job. All I got is his tongue. Yeah, yeah. They get these bills paid. Yeah, yeah. You worried about this old tooth missing? She ain't. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna pop call long enough. I gotta go. Y'all gonna fuck around, make me tell my secrets, man. Anyway, it's your boy Big Seller, H O G. I see, you, man. I'm going, man. Peace. F F F H H O O O Radio. Radio. Radio.